So this is the shore is what we call it. This is where um, like three or four generations of my wife's family has um, spent their summers. I was down in Annapolis, not feeling like myself. I was getting tired all the time. Just getting sick, like throwing up for no reason and couldn't eat anything, couldn't, um, didn't really know what was going on, but I was sleeping a lot. Finally got, went to the doctor and they called me, told me to get to the emergency room. Sam had been diagnosed with end stage renal failure. Sam was being transferred to Johns Hopkins um, because they were the best in the area for kidney work. So Sam's case, like about 400 every year, involved a donor who was healthy and willing, but incompatible, and as a result required paired donation. I was gonna give my kidney um, to Sam just before Christmas, but it turned out uh, after multiple blood tests and getting ready to do the donation to Sam, they found that I was no longer a match. With meeting with the transplant team, they brought up this paired donation program. In a paired donation, what we do is we take a pair that's incompatible and another maybe several pairs that are incompatible and we mix and match things so that compatible transplants result. Sam was matched up uh, really, rather quickly. Within uh, two months of the original date, he was able to have his transplant. Um, they didn't call on me for a while. I, got, I was able to sit in the bullpen now sometimes we can do all of this in one day or all in one weekend if all of those pairs are ready. Sometimes a donor is not ready to be used in a paired exchange until later and in those situations they can wait longer. He called me um, towards the end of March of that year and they had found a match, uh, asked me if I was still available you know, to do it and I said certainly. I'm working fine with one kidney, Sam is great now I've got a healthy son.